Crinkle Bell tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Catherine's wheel pattern in crochet. I know when you're looking at this pattern you might be thinking that it's super hard to make, but it's really not once you get the hang of it. So I hope you really enjoy making this pattern. So to get started, what you need to do is make some chains, and you want to do those in a multiple of 10 plus 2. So for this tutorial, I've gone ahead and made 22 chains. So to get started, what I want to do is go to the second chain from my hook, and remember, we never count the one that's on our hook, so 1, 2. Right there, I'm going to make a single crochet. And I also want to single crochet into the next chain. Then we're going to skip three. One, two, three. In the next one, we're going to make seven double crochets. One. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, then we're going to skip three, one, two, three, and we're going to single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. And that'll be the pattern for this row. So you'll be skipping three, making seven double crochets into the next one, skip three, and make single crochets into the next three chains. And we'll just keep doing that until we reach the end of the row. So I've already got my three single crochets, so I'm going to skip three chains. One, two, three and make seven double crochets into the next one. One. Two. Three. four, five, six, seven, then we'll skip three, one, two, three, and when you reach the end, you're just going to do a single crochet into the last two chains. One, and two. Now that's going to finish out our first color also, so all we're going to do is just snip our working yarn, pull it through the loop to secure, then we're going to take our next color, make a circle around our fingers, insert our hook underneath the circle, grab the yarn and pull it through, that way when you tighten it, you'll have a knot on your hook. Now if you need more information on how to do things like this or any of the individual stitches or even how to sew all these end pieces into your work, then visit my channel because I have tutorials on how to do all of those. <laughs> so anyway, to get started, we're going to insert our hook into the last stitch that we made, grab the yarn, pull it through, and also through the loop that was on our hook. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn our work. Now for this row, what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet into the first four stitches, but we want to leave a loop on our hook each time, so we should end up with five loops when we're done. So there's two loops. three loops, four loops, and 
five loops. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through all the loops, make a chain to close, then chain three more. One, two, three. Then we're going to make a single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. Now we're back to doing double crochets into the next seven this time, but leaving a loop on our hook each time, so we should end up with eight. So there's one loop. Two loops, three loops, four loops, five loops, six loops. Seven loops. Okay, one more. Eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to yarn over, pull through all the loops, make a chain to close, chain three, one, two, three, and then single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. And that's basically what you'll do until you reach the end. So you'll be single crocheting in three, and then double crocheting into the next seven, leaving a loop on your hook each time for a total of eight loops. Then pull through all those loops, make a chain to close, chain three, single crochet into the next three. <laughs> and you just keep doing that until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you'll be ending it like you started it. You'll be making double crochets into the last four stitches, leaving a loop each time for a total of five. So there's one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, pull through all the loops, make a chain to close. We also want to chain three, one, two, three, and then turn our work. Now in the chain that's holding those three together, or the um, four double crochets from the previous row together, we want to make three double crochets into the center of it. One, two, three. Then we're going to single crochet in the three single crochets from the previous row. One, two, three. Then in the chain that's holding your seven double crochets from the previous row together, we want to make seven double crochets into it. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
seven. And that's pretty much the pattern for this row. So you're making single crochets in the tops of the three single crochets from the previous row. And then in the chain that's holding your seven double crochets put together, you're going to make seven double crochets into the center of it. And you just keep doing that until you reach the end. So here we are at our next set of single crochets. So I'm just gonna do single crochets into the top of those. So there's one. two, three, and when you get to the end in the center of the one holding the four together, we're going to make three double crochets into the center of it. One, two, three. Then in that chain three space from the previous row, you want to do a double crochet into the center of it. Now that's going to finish off your next color. So all you got to do is just snip your working yarn, pull it through the loop to secure, then grab your original color or a new color, you know, have fun with color, use as many as you would like. <laughs> and then pull it through the center of the circle, pull to close. Then we're just going to insert it into the last one that we did. Pull the yarn through, pull it through the loop that was on our hook. Chain one and turn our work. Now we want to single crochet into the first two. So there's one, two. Then we're gonna double crochet into the next seven, leaving a loop on our hook each time for a total of eight. So there's one loop, two loops, three loops, four loops, five loops, six loops, seven loops, <laughs> and eight loops. Then we're just going to yarn over, pull through all the loops, make a chain to close, chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. And that'll be the pattern for this row. So you're doing seven double crochets, leaving a loop on your hook each time for a total of eight loops pulling through all those loops, making a chain to close, chaining three, and then single crocheting into the next three. So now we're ready for our next set of eight loops. So there's one loop, two loops, three loops, four loops, five loops, six loops, seven loops, eight loops, yarn over, pull through all the loops, make a chain to close, chain three, one, two, three, and then we'll end the row just like we started it with a single crochet into the last two. So there's one, and the second one will be in the center of that chain three from the previous row. Two, then we'll chain one, turn the work, single crochet into the first two stitches. One, two, 
Then in the chain that's holding the seven double crochets from the previous row together, you're gonna to do seven double crochets into the center of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then you'll single crochet into the tops of the three single crochets from the previous row. So one, two, three, and that's pretty much the pattern for this row. So in the chain that's holding the seven double crochets from the previous row together, you're gonna to make seven double crochets into it. And then you're just gonna single crochet into the tops of the three single crochets from the previous row. <laughs> so see, it's not that bad. So now we're to our next one. So we're gonna make seven double crochets into that chain holding the seven from the bottom together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll end the row just like we started it with a single crochet into the last two stitches. One, and two, and that finishes out this color. So we're just gonna snip our yarn and pull it through the loop. And that's pretty much it. You're just gonna keep repeating rows two through five until you reach your desired height. And when you get done, you should end up with a pattern that looks like this. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial. And if so, please subscribe to the channel for more nifty tutorials and patterns. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.